City of Riverside versus Rich Iverson. Is Rich Iverson here? No, hi, how you doing? Hey, great to have you here. You're Rich Iverson? Uh, yes, thank you, Commissioner. Okay, let the record reflect that Rich Iverson is here. How do you plead? Yeah, uh, uh, thank you, uh, Commissioner. Uh, prior to entry of a plea, I have a question. Sure, go ahead. Has the DA filed a complaint? You're in possession of the infraction um, notice that was handed to you at the time of the at the date and time by the officer, correct? Uh, due respect, Commissioner, did you understand the question? Uh, I did. I'm just following up. Thank you. Making sure oh, that you oh, understand oh. why we're here. Well, you, you, you just informed me why I'm here. I was charged. Um, for the record, will you please identify the party who charged me by name? Uh, yeah, that's the city of Riverside. That's not a somebody. That's, an inst that's a corporation. Who, who is the someone who charged me? Well, it's a person. Which and person? person and, and, which, and it was charged, what, what, and it was, and it charged you under under City of Riverside, you know, municipal yeah, that, code number one twenty seven point two five six five. Thank you. For the record, please identify the party, the person, the employee who charged me. Uh, Mr. Iverson, do you have a driver's license? Excuse me, Your Honor, with, uh, or Commissioner. With all due respect, I asked if the DA has filed a complaint. Has the DA filed a complaint? What's on the record before me is a moving violation for inappropriate left turn. Thank you very much, but has the DA filed a complaint? Well, for our purposes, that constitutes a complaint. For our purposes. For the record, please identify the parties who comprise the R. The city of Riverside. You're not the city of Riverside, Commissioner. So, so you and whom else? Whoever else? I didn't you, say you, that I was a party. I'm, I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm here you, well, you, you to use the word. This you, you, thank you very much. You used the word R. I was confused. But my question again is: Has the district attorney for Riverside County filed a complaint against me? Is there a complaint in the jacket, Commissioner? It's not our purpose today to deal with any matter other than the moving violation that was Thank the citation you. that was issued to you at the okay. time of Thank the infraction. You. Thank you very much, Commissioner. So, are you authorized to receive a plea when no complaint has been filed? I'm authorized to receive a plea when an infraction has been noticed and you have acknowledged that that infraction has been noticed to you by receipt of the moving violation on September 22nd, 2017. With all due respect, Commissioner, I never made such an acknowledgement. I've, I've simply asked if the DA has filed a complaint and I still haven't heard a yes or no response. You acknowledge that you received a, a moving violation. No, I, 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 with all due respect, Your Honor, if you want to have the court... I raised that at you know, the beginning of our discussion and you did not refute it. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So. Um, was I issued a notice to appear? The answer is yes. Um, are you making a judicial determination the notice to appear is synonymous with a criminal complaint? I'm strictly dealing with violation of a municipal ordinance. Well, that's hearsay, Your Honor. And I object to your conclusion. Now, it's my understanding that your role, correct me if I'm mistaken, is to inform me of the charge and receive a plea, not determine the outcome. So I object to you concluding, okay? Now, I asked you, and I'm asking I'm you again. I'm not concluding anything. I'm not concluding anything. I'm sitting here right now, and I'm telling you what yeah. this court's jurisdiction is based yeah. upon, which is munici right. Riverside Municipal Code number 127.656. Right. Is that a crime? It's a municipal infraction. Is the infraction a crime? It's a municipal infraction. Right. Do I get a jury trial? You'll have to go and take that up to um, no, I'm the circuit I'm, court. No, I'm, I'm asking you. Do at I this, get a jury? This, if, I, if, I, if I plead not guilty, do I get a trial by jury? Commissioner, with all due respect, given infractions are fine only offense, and I'm not facing a jail sanction if, you, if the uh, judge or commissioner finds me guilty, have I been accused of a crime? No, you've been accused of a municipal infraction. 
Thank you very much, Your Honor. You're toast, bro. Well, <laughs> Rich, I understand where you're going. Oh, and I completely, and I like it. I don't. I, like I don't it. understand. Why is he toast? Well, what he's doing is he's, he's attacking the basic jurisdictional foundation of the courts dealing with the matter in the first instance. So going back to, you know, the combative discussion between Rich and Dallas, all right, was, you know, is it civil or is it criminal? All right, if it's criminal, then we're dealing with, you know, we're dealing with serious matters. Serious matters require serious procedure. And so, Rich, I agree with you a thousand percent. And, 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 I, and I would say to you, knowing most of the people and understanding that most of the people that are sitting in there in the black dresses, okay, whether they're sitting in an administrative court situation or they're sitting in a circuit court or a palco, I don't care, all right, that, that you know, they're as conditioned as 99% of the people in, in, in this world. Okay, and they're looking at you and the things that you're raising, you know, cognitive dissonance kicks in. <laughs> yeah, well, that works for me because you stepped right in that big old pile of dung I just stuck in front of you. Not only did you step in it, you dove into it face first. And, and, then this the is thing, the, and then the next thing, the next thing that I would do is say you've raised no substantive argument. And thank so you. The, how do you plead? I'm not going to refuse well, to plead. You then. know we're going to go. You know we're going up on appeal based on everything you said. And that's everything. Fine. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Right. Rich, I don't care whether I don't care whether you're talking about a traffic infraction, a criminal <clears throat> indictment for murder, okay, uh, you know, assault, or a foreclosure. All right, these people that you're dealing with are glorified precinct captains. You know what a precinct captain is? Yeah. A precinct captain whose job is yeah. to go out and bring in votes for yeah. the party, okay? And at the end of the day, they pay 10000 20000 50000 whatever, the, whatever the, 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 yeah. the toll is to get yeah. on the ballot under the Democratic or Republican Party, depending who's in power. And so their what? job is to drive votes. And they so. are not going to be the ones to upset the system. So if you're going to appeal it, well, and you're going to yeah. appeal them, and the appellate court's going to tell them what to do, fantastic. I'm not no, going I'm not. to do it for you. All right? No, if here, the appellate here, here's, court here. tells me what to do, I'll do it. All right, fine. You be a Nazi. They're all Nazis, okay? They're just following orders. We know that. You, you, you nailed it. You made a really great point, Bob, and that is these guys are conditioned, they're programmed, they're trained. And what I did was challenge your training, okay? And you responded properly to the questions I was asking. You hedged every single time I asked you if, if the DA filed a complaint. Now, here's what's going on in California. Communist, fascist, whatever, socialist, whatever the hell it is. This is what's yeah, happening. I don't, even, I don't even know what it is anymore, man. <laughs> okay, it's just right? nuts. It's, it, 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 it's yeah. plain nuts. No, no, it's you're plain. right. You're right. All right, here's the thing. Arraignment court is where they tell you what the charge is. But here's what people don't even think about. Number one, who's charging me? Was it the officer who issued the notice to appear or the district attorney who's the people's attorney? Now, I know that an arraignment is an aspect or an element of a criminal action. And so I know that you, as the arraignment commissioner or pro tem, did not charge me. You're just being a liaison. However, I have a question, and that is, has the DA filed a complaint? Because when it comes to crime, we both know that the DA is the people's attorney. Now, in California, when they adopted the infraction, uh, they began studying it. Uh, the studies began in the early 50s, and it was codified into law in 1969. So prior to 1969, there was felonies and misdemeanors. Subsequent to that, now you have a fine only traffic infraction. And what the California model is based on is the New York model, with one exception. In Illinois, it's administrative, like New York. In California, they keep it in the court. And so someone like me cannot represent you or Angela or anybody else, you see. 
But in an administrative setting, I could come in and kick your ass on behalf of the defendant because you just demonstrated to me that you've got a problem with criminal procedure. And that works for me. But the average pro per, they're not going to know this stuff. They don't even know what arraignment is. They don't know what the, the, the limited role of the judicial officer is at arraignment. No, they've, got, I, a, they've I, got a stack. They've got a stack five inches tall of yes. files, and yeah. their job is to stamp forms and to fill out reports. Yeah, well, they're not going to do. They're not going to do that with me, okay? Because with me, they're actually going to work. And if they don't like it, they can quit. You see, they wanted to work for me and everybody else in that room, but they've hoodwinked the majority of people because they've got the, the, the you know, the wearing the gown and they're sitting there and they got the word commissioner associated with their name, blah, blah, blah. These guys are boobs. The majority of them don't know what the hell they're talking about. And the question I asked, has the DA filed a complaint? That's going to end it. Okay. Because if the DA hasn't filed a complaint, the people haven't filed a grievance. Well, the cop doesn't get to do that. He doesn't get to prepare his own paper, serve it before it's been filed in court without any oversight. No, no, I understand what you're saying. What you're saying is this is a, this is a criminal, and the judge would look at it, or you know, ALJ or who would, you know, commissioner or whatever you want to call him, would look at it as a quasi-criminal action. If, that, if you've got criminal attached to it, then there are specific I, I know. procedural and, and, requirements and, and, that have to be met, and nobody raises I, it. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying that. The, fundam yeah. the, the, no. the, fundament, the fundamental no, you're issues. Right. You're right. The fundamental ABCs are not being raised. And you know the saying, an issue not raised is waived. Well, people are not raising a, a fundamental jurisdictional issues when they have their first opportunity to get on the record. Uh, commissioner, with all due respect, has the DA filed a complaint? If the answer right. is no, uh, well, uh, Commissioner, are you authorized Why are we here? Why are, are we here? Are, well, I'm going to add a little icing to the cake. Uh, well, well uh, Commissioner, given the DA hasn't filed a complaint, the people haven't preferred a charge, uh, are you authorized to receive a plea? The answer is no. Uh-uh. They only have one leg of the jurisdictional stool, and that is to dismiss given an absence of jurisdiction to proceed to trial. They can't even receive a plea. Right, because, you know, I mean, there's no, there's no you know, no jurisdiction because, because there is no action upon which they can take.